Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Conversations. And um, I hope I hope that it serves you. And um, love to be with you, family of the world. And here we go. So, Stan, who was our first caller? Tori from France. So, Tori, hi, honey. Hi. 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 Please hi. read the email that you sent to me. Sure. Okay. Dear Katie, Maybe like a lot of oh, people. Oh, wait a minute. I just have to take that in. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet. That's so sweet. You know, when I see someone as dear, it feels, you know, I, I, it, it feels truer to my heart. And so when you say, dear Katie, I'm so happy for you. I know what that feels like. So I'm really connected with you in that. I, I get that. And. Thank you. You know, when I, <laughs> when I, when I email myself, I email, you know, my, my address, but when I pick it up, it begins with dear one. Oh. <laughs> and it was just the most natural thing. And, um, you know, why not spread it around? So. Beautiful. Okay. Maybe like a lot of people, I sometimes only want to do the work on myself. For example, angry at myself for decisions made in the past. I understand in my head that I couldn't have done it any other way, but I don't know how to make it a heart-centered understanding and find compassion for my human, not perfect self. When you stop projecting your pain, you have to own it, and yet it is not recommended to do the work on yourself. Um, thank you for your wisdom and help. Okay, so uh, what's an example of uh, a situation in the past where you have made a decision? Okay, shall I use one, a yes. big one? Uh huh. Okay. All right, so, um, uh, okay, I'm going to take just one very big one. Um, for example, I had children very young, mm -hmm. and I adore my children. I love them more than anything, but um, sometimes I regret having had children so young. Yes. I think, oh, it could have been, I could have waited, I would have been a better mom. And so on. <clears throat> okay. So, um, so now name a situation where you were believing that. Maybe you were with your children, or where you when were was, watching maybe people free of of not having to live what you're living through. Um, give me a situation where you were believing that. Um, yeah, probably when I was very when my children were very young. <clears throat> And I was feeling the responsibility, the incredible responsibility, and maybe feeling out of my depth um, and needing, wishing it, I was, I didn't have all the responsibility. Yeah. Okay. So um, you're upset because um, it's it's just too much responsibility for your age. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So um, so that would be statement number one. I'm feeling responsible. Because I'm too young to have children at this age. Okay. Okay. So that we'd say that number one. Now, where were you? What situation? Where were you when you had this thought? Mm -hmm. um, and those of you listening, sometimes it's very difficult to find a specific situation. But if you can still close your eyes, something will come to you. Yes. And maybe it was even yesterday. Mm -hmm. Even though number one is there, you know, like when you were younger, mm -hmm. maybe you had that thought yesterday, but we're just looking for a moment in time where you had that thought in that situation. Yes. Okay. You see it? Where are you? Oh, it's a long time ago. Um, I think it, I'm in where I was living in, in, in France. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and where were you? Inside? Were you alone? Were you outside in yes, a park? Yes, I'm inside. Yes, I'm inside. Okay, um, and where are you sitting or standing? Okay. You see it? Yes. Okay, where are you? I'm sitting down. And where? What room? Um, in the studio room. And okay. Now, um, you see how important it is that you get located? Yes. You get located. When you're doing this work, you get located. That's the situation. You're sitting alone in your living room, mm -hmm. and you have this thought, okay? You have the thought, I'm too young to have children at my age. 
Okay? And how do you react when you think that thought? Um, I feel overwhelmed. I feel very sad. Very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depressed. Yeah. Cheated. Burdened. Yes. Victim. Yeah. So you see you sitting there in your mind's yes. eye? Yes. Okay, look around the room. Are there flowers or is there a um, window where you can see outside? Look at the, is there other furniture in the room? Mm -hmm. Notice where you're sitting. Notice how that chair supports you. Yes. Okay, so without the thought, who would you be in that moment? In that situation, sitting. I would just be there, available for my, my child and, and at peace yeah. with my situation. Yeah. Is your child crying at the time or needing your attention? No. Well, then you don't have to be there for your child. She's not asking you to. Mm. You see in that moment in time... Mm -hmm. Now notice what it's like to sit in that chair without the, th I mean, with the thought. I'm too young to have children at my age. You see the burden? Mm -hmm. Now, without the thought. Yes. Okay. So now tell me. Is it your children that are a burden, or is it what you're believing that is the burden? Yes, it's absolutely what I'm believing. Okay, so I love that you just experience that and just kind of go in and out with the story, without the story, experience the difference in your life. And all the while, your child, your child does not even need you. It's, I mean, you have the state of grace carved out for you. So, I'm too young to have children at my age. Turn it around. What is the opposite? Well, I'm not too young to have children at my age. Yes, so give me an example. In that moment, I'm not too young to have children at my age. Well, I had a child. <laughs> and also if you stay within that situation you can see you're not too young or too old or anything because your child does not even need you I mean for all you know you don't even have a child in that moment Stan honey would you come fix the monitor for me please well, I was. I mean, I was you're, you're not even you're you're not even needed as a mother in that moment. Okay, so now let's look at this statement number two on the judge your neighbor worksheet. Stan, it's known to do this occasionally like that. So in that moment, sitting there in that chair, what do you want? From that troubled place, what is it that you wanted? What did you want? Um, maybe I was needing courage to face what okay. I was doing. So I want courage to face what I'm doing. And acceptance, to accept situations in heart and mind. Okay. To accept everything is as it should be. Okay. Um, I need to accept my situation. I mean, I want to accept my situation. So you want to accept your situation. I hope all of you out there, even with these wonderful things going on here, I hope all of you out, out there are staying in this inquiry. So I want to accept what's going on. So, and to accept the decisions I have made because well, let's, I've let's, let's do one at a time. Okay. Okay. I want to accept this decision that I've 
I want to accept what's going on. Yes. I'm going to write that down. So go back to that situation in that moment, sitting in that room. You want to accept what's going on. Is that true? Yes. Can you really know that it's true, that that's what you wanted? Well, there may have been multiple things. Okay, and and we heard that coming from you. and, And so just consider that. You know, for me, as I sit in it, I want to accept what's going on. I'm unable to, because what's going on is nothing. I'm supported. My children don't need me. Other than what I'm thinking and believing, there's nothing to accept. There's just clear, the grace of reality right there. You're not hungry. You have everything you need. So is it, I want to accept what's going on. Is it true? No. I want to argue with reality. See, what's going on is going on whether you accept it or not. Yes. So it's a big question, and I know there were, for a long time, I would answer that question, yes, it's true. But then as the work began to work me, I began to just laugh at these things. I want to accept what's going on. It's hilarious. No, I don't. Here it is, in front of my face. Nice, huh? Yes. Yes. That's why people want to live in the moment. It's always okay in the moment. The past and future, you know, the future can be terrifying and the past is depressing. So you want to uh, accept what's going on. How do you react when you think that thought? And you're too blind to see what's in front of you. What happens emotionally when you think the thought, I want to accept what's going on? I guess I feel incapable. Yes, because you see images of past and future. So you're in a dream. You're not sitting in reality, even though you are. You're lost in the dream of they're they're crying for me and I can't do it. I'm too young or or I'm going to have to take care of them the rest of my life. I can't afford these children. On and on and on. You see that movie that was happening in your head in that moment, blinding you to reality. Everything was perfect except what I was thinking, in fact. Yes, and imaging. Yes. In your mind's eye. You were believing everything you believed about those images. The way you story tell upon those images in your head cost you life. So important. These four questions are so important. So who would you be without the thought, I need to, I want to accept what's going on in that moment? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't feel under so much pressure. I wouldn't have the weight. You would be what's going on. Mm -hmm. What's really going on? I'd actually be in the moment. Yeah. Chair, young woman, ceiling, walls, reality. No child in sight. Mm-hmm. And this works even when there's a child inside. You know, it's just a, another worksheet, or maybe it comes across on this one. So um, I, um, I want to accept what's going on. Can you find another turnaround? I don't want. Okay, I don't want Did to accept. Did we do that one already? No. I don't want. I don't want to accept what's going on. 
Yeah, because it's going on in all of its kindness, whether you notice it or not. It just keeps giving and giving and giving. There is no time in anyone's life when they are not okay. Because you don't have to accept what's going on. That's you have, right. Do you have a choice? That's the... You know, not as long as you're thinking, it, not as long as you're believing your thoughts. And as far as reality, it is what it is, and you can trust it. You know, people have a um, problem trusting. You can trust reality because it's not going to shift or move for you. And I love that. It's like, bring it on. Once you know the nature of the universe, that it's kind, that it's generous and giving and 100% for you and service to you. Once you understand that, there's exactly. no fear of just noticing what's going on. Wanting to accept what's going on and it being true. Like, I'm sitting here with you, the end. Okay, Precious, so um, in that situation, what, what should or shouldn't, what advice would you offer in that moment? What advice would you offer um, yourself in that moment? Um, I shouldn't, um, expect anything, um, or I shouldn't put added pressure on myself. Okay, so you shouldn't put added pressure on yourself. Is that true? Can you really know that it's true? You know, for me, I can't know my path. Yes. You shouldn't put added pressure on yourself. Or I shouldn't believe what I'm thinking, because then... Well, let's stay with, with, you know, just love the one you're with, that concept you're with, because your ego is always going to want to shift it to, oh, this is the one, this is the one, take me, take me. But just trust, just trust, and then you can always move to those others. I refer to them as the children. You can always go back to those other children later. <laughs> just stay with this one, just this one. Parent, this one. So I shouldn't put added pressure. You shouldn't put added pressure on yourself. Can you absolutely know that it's true? That you shouldn't put pressure, added pressure on yourself? I want to say yes. And how do you react when you believe that thought? I feel more pressure. <laughs> yeah. And who would you be without the thought in that situation? <sighs> Just, just, just noticing. Noticing. Exactly. Being. Noticing. Exactly. So let's turn it around. I shouldn't put added pressure on myself. What is the opposite of shouldn't? I should? Yeah. You're a baby. You should put added pressure on yourself. You know, it's your mind is like a child. It hasn't found its way home yet. It's, it's a toddler. It doesn't know how to be. It doesn't know how to rest in itself. It's never been questioned. It doesn't know how to question itself. So it just, it just is chaos. And all the feelings and emotions that come with that can be terrifying. That's immaturity, childlike. You know, like, and I'm speaking strictly of the mind, mm -hmm. that little ego. So I should put added pressure on myself. Give me an example. You don't know how to stop it. That's one. Mm -hmm. You don't even realize it's going on. That's two. Mm -hmm. You think it's the world that needs to change before you can. But it's the thoughts causing the struggle not the world. So, you know, that puts added pressure on yourself. That's a sleepness, and that's how it is. Okay. 
and you know, sweetheart, how to find your way home. Now, we've gone through statements one through three on the Judge and Able Worksheet, and I invite you, as we move on, to take in what makes sense to you, and I invite all of us to do that, and then um, complete the Judge and Able Worksheet on the other side of this. And if you need help, we have just amazing certified facilitators all over the world. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tori.